Hello, and welcome to Star Wars Empire at War, the Absolute Enhancement mod. Um, I'm playing with mods because the vanilla game is awesome and all, but mods are awesomer for this game. There's a lot more ships, there's cool disco background music, yeah, that sort of stuff. But um, this game is a real-time strategy game. It's uh, based in Star Wars Universe, in case you couldn't tell. Um, it's Rebels vs. Empire, same sort of thing. And we're going to do a Galactic Conquest. We're going to do the Galactic Conflict um, version, which is 72 planets. We're going to start off on tech level 1. Um, except, going hard, we're going to be the Empire, because the Empire is cool. Um, basically, this is the same thing, except with this one you start off with one planet, and the Rebels start off with one planet, and the rest of them are owned by either uh, neutral or pirates. This one's cool because it's about three quarters of the planets are owned by either you or the rebels, and then the other ones are neutral or pirates. So there's a lot more that you actually get to fight the rebels early on rather than um, have to wait until everything's cool. You know, until everyone conquers and you get finally get close enough to attack the rebels. And um, I've actually modified this mod. This isn't uh, the stock mod either. Uh, I like this game because the mods are all on XML files, so they're really easy to modify. You don't even really have to know how to code or do anything. Well, you do have to know how to code, but um, you have to basically... Hold on, let me pause the game real quick. Um, yeah, basically you can just modify like random numbers and you can change things. Um, so here's the Galactic uh, Overview screen. This is all my fleets. You can see... Uh, space fleets and land fleets and pirates right here. Green ones are me, uh, gray ones are neutral, and red ones are rebel, rebel fleets or rebel planets rather. And um, yeah, there's a lot of them. Uh, I've also modified the AI to be a lot more aggressive than they are normally, so hopefully it's make some entertaining gameplay. Uh, these green lines here represent trade routes. So uh, if I, as long as I control both planets at either end of this trade route, then we'll, I'll get a bonus to my credit supply, which is right here. And um, you can see it right there, it says trade routes, 568 credits from that per day. And then uh, 1885 credits from all the planets I earned. You can see my credits from right here. This is how much credits the uh, each planet pulls in. So Coruscant right here pulls in 495 credits every single day. Uh, here's my here's what day it is, like how, how long we are during the day. So when this gets all the way full, it'll turn to next day, and I'll get this many credits added to right here. So, um, yeah, you also have heroes up here. Here are all the heroes I currently have. Um, these heroes will respawn, and they basically act as uh, super units, pretty much. They can go, and they can uh, attack people for you. If they have this little um, blue circle, that means that they're going to, uh, they, they can get into orbit around a planet and not... For instance, let's send uh, Boba Fett. Let's have Boba Fett go to Mon Calamari. Uh, he can act. He can go over enemy planets and such, and it won't start a battle immediately. Uh, then this right here uh, says what level of uh, bases they have. It's not always accurate, but so Mon Calamari has doesn't have a um, star. Uh, doesn't have a space station yet. But you can see we can see what the rebel the rebels only have. A, um, a, uh, a, 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 not Tantum Four. I can't remember the name, a uh, Corellian Corvette, rather, or, um, then an X, a fleet of X-Wings and two fleets of Y-Wings, so we can probably handle this, uh, this is also Mon Calamari, it's a very, they can build Mon Calamari cruisers here, which is very, they're, they're very hard to kill, they're essentially the equivalent of Star Destroyers, so except for Rebels, and then they, they have three ground bases right now, so they probably have uh, we can't see what they have right now, but probably have a barracks and then two mining facilities. But, um, yeah. So, let's get started then. I'm going to go ahead and start getting some of my, um, get my fleet together and start getting some, uh, like, get space station right here. Or, um, get a space station here, etc., etc. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of all that and get some stuff going, and then, uh, I'll rejoin you guys when we're going to go and, uh, we're going to go for Mon Calamari first today. See ya. Alright, here we go. We're going to launch an attack on Mon Calamari. 
and let's see what happens. Alright, so it looks like they only have a fleet of Y-Wings. So this should be very, like, um, stupidly easy. I can't believe they actually left Mon Calamari so undefended. Here's my fleet. You'll see I have a bunch of uh, victory class. No, no, um, accl acclimators rather. Oh, they do have a they do have a, a space station. Oh, did not know that. Um, that I have a bunch of acclimators rather, which is like the first uh, true star destroyer you can get, and then uh, or the first kind of star destroyer. They're not even really. They're more of a cruiser. Uh, then we have some of these. Um, um, patrol crafts, uh, go away stormtrooper, so I can get the name, Doo -doo -doo. uh, yes, yes, indeed, um, yeah, tartan control, tartan patrol cruisers, which are basically their anti-fighter guns, then these, which are, um, which are broadside cruisers, they have, their ability is to fire a bunch of missiles or something, so they're like artillery, except in space, space artillery, then we have Boba Fett, who is up here. Here's our hero. Any Rebels heroes would be up here. So the Rebels don't have any uh, heroes in orbit around this system currently. So what we're going to do is we're going to control A, select everything. And we're just going to go ahead and tell them to attack move towards the space station. And then they're going to go towards it. I might not have brought enough uh, ships. Maybe we need to bring more. You can see there's a Mon, uh, Mon Calamari cruiser under construction. That's just a detailed thing. They're not actually under construction. It's just there because the game decides to put it there. Uh, looks like it's a bunch of ARC-170 fighters, which means it's, it's probably a level 1 starbase or a space station level 1. So I'm not really too concerned about these guys. I'm actually going to send a bunch of interceptors after them. Go ahead and hunt for them. Alright, coming in, then there's some Z95, which are also very easy to take down. Okay, let's have them attack the shield generator, um, and also we're going to have the, these guys start shooting some missiles at it. Let's put these guys, this can boost all their uh, weapons, and but they don't regenerate any shields when they're doing it, so that's when you want something dead now. Then let's see here. So they're just kind of attacking. This should be too. This should be pretty easy to take down, really. I'm not terribly concerned. Here's their hangar bay, which is being destroyed. Now there's only a missile launcher left. All right. So now that's down. So we're just gonna need to mop up. Up. Oh, they're running. They're retreating light speed. So let's take out what we can. Um, this is a. Um, this is a seismic charge, which basically means he can uh, drop this, and it'll explode like it does in Episode 2 and do a lot of damage to any nearby units. Uh, this is invulnerability, so it says Mummy and Falcon over there, but it doesn't really mean it, because this is a mod that gave it to Boba Fett as well. And Boba Fett gets the seismic charge, which normally a, um, only Boba Fett, uh, a Han Solo gets a seismic charge, which is only normally, only, which normally uh, only Boba Fett gets. So it's gonna what well, took that out, took them out, and they ran away to light speed. So we lost an, uh, an acclimator, and we took down their space station. So that's not bad. We have now secured orbit for the Empire. And we're gonna get uh, into orbit around Kuat over here, and then we're gonna get some fleet going. Some nice. Uh, a nice land fleet here. Alright. Uh, oh. We got a mission. Neutralize Rebellion Hero of Boa Fett. I don't think there's a hero there. Oh, there is. Basically, that's all you need. Basically, uh, Boba Fett has the ability to neutralize a hero. So, um, he can go and he'll, like, automatically kill them for however many credits. Oh! Enemy fleet incoming at Terrace. Uh, hmm. We do have some nearby reinforcements. I don't know if they'll get there fast enough. Let's just go ahead and get these guys over here. Oh, we no, we're not fast enough. 
Uh, it appears to be a assault cruiser, assault frigate. Um, yeah, I don't think we're gonna do too well against this thing. You can see what it's strong against, what it's weak against, and we do not have that. We only have what it's strong against. We have this guy. So um, this is gonna be one-sided. So here we are, we're going to go ahead and run like little girls. What we're going to do is we're going to hide over here. And use these uh, this, uh, things, uh, what do I call it, platforms, defense platform things. We're going to use them to our advantage. Normally I don't ever use these because it's I feel it's a waste of time, but when I have this versus an assault frigate, uh, I'm not going to be too happy if the uh, result can't capture anything until this retreat thing is um, it is active. Until you can retreat, that's when you start capturing stuff. So that's also, I probably should mention that. So now we're just going to go over there. Up oh, here comes, looks like, X-Wings. Get out of here, X-Wings. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Stay away from me, foo. Alright, um... We already got one of them. It's another one. Come on. And they're trying to take down our shields, not being very good at it. Get go away. Shoot. Be gone. Looks like we almost got him. All right. Cool. So now we're going to get the rest of these platforms up. And yeah. So basically this game, the enemy does surprise you quite a lot. So you've always got to be kind of prepared everywhere. Um, up oh, some Y-Wings coming in. Up oh, and there's the, there's the cruiser. Um, let's actually let's hide over here. Let's hide as far back over here as we possibly can. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're actually going to even get enough time. Let's have these guys open fire. These guys open fire. These guys open fire. I don't think they're within range of anything. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. I'm going to be really surprised if we win this battle, because just get rid of the lasers, hopefully. Come on, come on, come on. They're running away. Go, get closer. This, again, that boosts our weapons power, so we're just going to try to do what we can. Stop. You're, you're, not, you're not even close enough to shoot. Ah. Sometimes this game does piss me off, though. The AI sometimes is not as good as it, as it could be. But that's true of any real-time strategy game where you're not actually controlling anyone. Uh, fun fact, this is actually my second commentary doing this. Um, the, what happened to the first one was I finished it, I recorded it, I edited it, I did everything, and I was running the video. And the Fraps files, if you didn't know, Fraps files are, like, unbelievably huge. And, uh, they, the Fraps files, I was like, okay, I'm not going to need these anymore after I was done rendering. And I deleted them, and it turned out that the, uh, the file didn't render properly. It was corrupted when it rendered. And so I deleted the Fraps files and, like, went to the recycle bin and emptied the recycle bin, because I don't, they're still taking up space even inside the recycle bin. No. No, you're not running away. No, you do not deserve to run away. Oh, we got them. Cool. Uh, when they're jumping to hyperspace, they do they take twice as much damage. So that's why I was actually able to do that. But um, anyway, back to my story. The, um, I'm surprised I won, really. Uh, <laughs> um, let's, get, let's get one of these guys in orbit. Um, uh, let's see here. The, yep, we're going to go ahead and attack Mon Calamari before they decide to make us pay for our... In or not there we they have they do have one barracks and two mi uh, mining facilities on the planet so but um yeah and they have some artillery on the service too Ooh, this is gonna be bad 
um, yeah, anyway, I recorded the first thing, and then turns out I had not finished rendering the, the thing, and it got it all corrupted and whatnot. So that's what happened there. It was kind of depressing, because it was about, I don't know, two hours worth of work, three hours worth of work. So yeah, that's, that's also a reason why this is kind of uh, later than I would like. That and also I don't technically have an internet connection right now. Um, so that also is kind of helping. I'm getting like four frames per second right now. One frame per second. What's going on? Uh, hold on, let's stop recording real quick to see if this uh, speed. Alright, let's see if this, yep, seemed to have worked. We're back at 60 frames per second again. Okay, that was weird. But, yep, just gonna, we just go ahead and here's our mission objectives. We want to kill the Mon Calamari if we can, and we'll get a bonus. And then we need to kill all uh, the rebels, obviously. And uh, the, Empire, the Emperor must survive, so we can't have the Emperor die. Here's some of the uh, land turrets. I do use these quite a lot because they come in handy. They're also dirt cheap to build, too. So they're... I, I like them. I like them. Anyway, this game is uh, fun. Even the stock version is fun. I just like the mods because mods. But oh, oh, here comes this. Uh, that's okay. I probably should. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Uh, the emperor on the land has two abilities. Let me just build these. Uh, he has two abilities. One is force lightning. He shoots lightning out of his fingers and kills people. And then force corrupt, which um, turns everyone, uh, turns all the enemies around him into friendlies, but they'll lose health like every second or so, so Force Corrupt does actually have its downsides. Um, then, see here, everyone has their own abilities. These guys can go, can take cover, which means they'll take half damage. Uh, this is Mara Jade right here. She later, a fun fact, uh, she later marries Luke Skywalker. She's in the dark side right now, but later she becomes Luke Skywalker's wife. She becomes Mara Jade Skywalker. And then Han Solo's son kills her. Yeah, it's it, there's kind of a thing going on there. It's a shame. And then Han Solo's daughter kills Han Solo's son. It's cool. You should read the it's, uh, Legacy of the Force series that happens. Expanded the universe. Uh, then these guys are kind of time maulers. They're not very... Um, they're kind of fragile. But you can do this. Where is that? This right here. This is fun. This is always fun. Come on, come on, this way, this way. Oh, look at that. I just got a text message. Yep, my friend text messaged me. But, um, yep, just waiting for everyone to land here. When people are landing, just as a heads up, they take double damage. Just because they're not ready to shoot yet, so they're at their most vulnerable right now. And looks like they're trying to attack me. Come on, kill him. Kill him, Emperor dude. Okay, never mind, you don't need to kill him. Oh, oof. Oh, this is going to be bad. Here's the artillery. It appears we are within range. They're deploying. Yep, we're within range. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Alright, uh, take cover. Uh, Mara J. Skywalker, just a heads up, is all her abilities are thermal detonator. She throws something. It sticks there. It blows up. Force corrupt, just like the Emperor. This is also a uh, Guri. Basically, uh, she's not. She's a human replica, replica droid, which means that she is actually not human. She just looks like a human. She's a spy. Um, she's in. Um, ooh, it's, nay, I know it. There's a Shadows of the Empire. Shadows of the Empire. She's in the book and I believe the game and and, and the the everything as well. So she's. Uh, she's in Shadow of the Empire. She's. Uh, uh, She's cool. I mean, I don't use her very often. I only use her because she was there. Uh, she can sprint, and she can also uh, EMP, activate EMP verse, electromagnetic, electromagnetic pulse, which um, will basically disable any uh, nearby mechanical units. Like this would be disabled if I got close enough to use this. Uh, just a heads up: Han Solo has the exact same abilities as she does. So, she's essentially a female Han Solo. So let's go ahead and attack. Take care of these guys. 
before they take care of us. These guys are very fragile. They're like they can't move. They're extremely powerful, but they can't move very quickly, and they die pretty easily. So, I'm not really terribly concerned. It's only if you ignore them that they become a problem. So let's go ahead and take out all these uh, rebels over here. This, by the way, is our bombing run. This right here is our bombing run. Uh, when that becomes active, we'll be able to launch a bombing run onto any area of the map we can currently see. So the idea is to use these guys or something fast to go out and uh, see part of the map, find like an important structure or something like that, and then we can launch a bombing run and uh, attack it. So these guys have rocket launchers, so we want to take them out pretty quickly. We'll take this guy out, these guys out. Then there's more Mon Calamari guys trying to come after us. Actually, let's just do an attack move over here. Alright, so we want to take out this before we can go ahead and...